For most of us, the day that we have to make the choice to put our fur babies down is one of the worst days in our lives. We think it through and never take it lightly. But when this couple brought in their cat to be put down, the vet kicked them out. Why did he do that? The story of Luna started a few years ago when a young couple got married. They adopted a tiny ball of gray fluff like a starter baby and called her Luna. They got everything a cat would need, from a soft bed to toys and cat food. They had all of the intentions of being the best pet parents. But because the couple never had a pet before, they didn't always know the right way to care for her. But mostly, they loved Luna very much. She was an affectionate cat and was always ready for a cuddle or a belly rub. The couple would allow Luna to roam the neighborhood when they weren't at home, and sometimes they forgot to open the window at night for her to get back inside. This only happened because they weren't used to having a pet around. Luckily, a nice lady and her kids lived next door. They knew Luna because the cat would find her way to their porch on the nights that her owners forgot to leave the window open. Seeing the cat appear from time to time, the mother decided that she would leave food out and a warm place for Luna to sleep. She made sure that Luna was safe during the night. She didn't mind because Luna was a friendly cat. Often her kids would sneak outside to pet Luna. Then, once morning came, the loyal cat would make her way back home. At other times, Luna was the couple's baby and they doted on her. When their friends came around, they loved to show her off and cuddle with her on the couch, showing what great pet parents they were, at least in their own minds. Luna loved these moments. For her, these moments meant that she would spend time with the humans she loved. This made her very happy. Then, finally the couple was ready to add a human baby to the fold. They had practiced all they could with Luna, and now they wanted the real thing. Luna was going to have a little sibling to care for. It seemed the cat understood something exciting was about to happen. The nice neighbors had children and they were sweet to Luna, playing with her and even giving her treats. Having a little human to play with, Luna could be a really nice addition to their family, the couple thought. That is, until the baby was born. The couple didn't want too much cat hair near the baby, and Luna wasn't allowed in all areas of the house anymore. Luna was curious to meet her little sibling, but they quickly chased her away, shooing her to go outside whenever she came too close to the baby. The couple didn't have that much time for her anymore, and didn't cuddle with her either. They had their little human to think of. And when friends came around, they showed off the baby and completely forgot about Luna. She had all that she needed, a warm bed and food, even toys to play with. She couldn't blame her owners for not having the time to give her a lot of love and attention too, could she? Once again, she had the lady next door, Jasmine, and her kids that would show her some love whenever she ended up on their porch. Now, it seemed to happen more often than before. Jasmine's kids were always happy to see Luna appear on the porch at night. They would beg their mother to go outside for just a few minutes just so they could pet the cat from next door. Luna didn't mind the attention at all. She was happy to cuddle up with these nice kids. But once morning came, Luna would go back home again. Then there came a time when Luna slowed down a little. She was lying around the house more often and not going out too much. Her family was packing up and everything that they owned. It was slightly confusing. Her home was being boxed up. Even all of her toys went into a big box. But Luna felt tired and she couldn't play as much as she always did. The family was very busy packing and moved her out of the way when she would rub against them. It wasn't like they kicked her, they just moved her to the side with their feet, slightly annoyed. It was finally moving day. They called for Luna who was visiting the neighbors and she quickly came running. Maybe they wanted to play. Luna hurried home. Her owner picked Luna up outside and put her into a travel crate and took her to the vet. The unfamiliar sights and sounds clearly scared Luna who tried to make herself small inside the crate. If no one could see her, then no one could hurt her. The couple explained that Luna was slowing down and that she was too sick to travel with them to their new home. They wanted the vet to put her down. She was old and sick after all. The vet gently took Luna out of her crate and examined her for a few minutes. Then, right at that moment, he told the owners that he would absolutely not put Luna down and that they should get out of his office immediately. Why did he say this? Because Luna wasn't old and she wasn't sick. There was something else going on. She looked exhausted, probably because they hadn't properly cared for her. 
but this was not the reason the vet demanded the couple leave immediately. They were furious that he would not do as they asked. They grabbed for Luna, trying to take her with them. She's our cat, we can do with her what we wish, and we want to put her down, the woman said in an angry voice. But the determined vet was having none of that. This seemingly lovely couple didn't deserve Luna, or any animal for that matter. Putting a pet down is always supposed to be a last resort when the animal is terminally ill or perhaps dying, not a measure to be used for convenience. You just can't get rid of a pet when you don't want to deal with it anymore. The vet was furious at the two people and was choosing not to end Luna's life, not even for any sum of money they were offering him. He thought the couple was heartless and their request disgusted him. How could they even consider such a heinous act when, of all circumstances, their beloved pet cat was in this particular situation? Luna was exhausted, not because there was anything wrong with her, but because she was carrying babies. Yes, Luna was pregnant. That's why she had slowed down, and from the looks of her belly, it seems she was due in a few weeks. The couple kept demanding to either have Luna put down or give her back, but the vet wouldn't hand her back over to them. He didn't want to risk them taking her to another vet who might give in to their request or abandoning her. The couple finally left, angry that they hadn't reached their goal, but they quickly made up a story. If anyone would ask, they would say they had to put Luna down because she was sick. They didn't want to look like the bad guys after all. Luna was very sad and confused. She had loved her family and her home, and now they were all gone. The vet decided to keep her until she had her babies and would find a home for her when she recovered. It wasn't long before three beautiful tiny kittens were born. Yet, in some ways, Luna didn't improve. She nursed her kittens but remained detached from the humans. She didn't want cuddles, didn't want belly rubs. She simply appeared to want solitude. Jasmine was worried about Luna ever since she saw the family next door take Luna away. They hadn't left town for days after that, but Luna was nowhere to be found. Upon asking the couple where the cat was, they simply told her their fabricated lie. It was the nervous way they said it that made Jasmine suspicious. And so, she and her kids went to the local shelter and vet in the area to find Luna. At the vet's office, the family showed them pictures of Luna and explained that she was their neighbor's cat and they were looking for her, hoping to adopt her. The vet could tell they were being truthful and took them to see Luna. Upon seeing Jasmine and her kids, Luna's face lit up immediately. She rubbed up against them and even picked up her babies to show the kids. The cat with the sad eyes had vanished. The kittens found amazing homes, and finally Luna found her forever home with the loving family she had always deserved. Thanks for watching today, and join us again for another heartwarming story.